Jesus approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, If you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. When Jesus entered the temple courts, he began to drive out those who were selling. It is written, he said to them, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers.
when Jesus was finished praying, he left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas, the traitor, was standing there with him. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Then they arrested Jesus. They bound him and brought him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest, that year. Meanwhile, the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching.
Then the whole assembly rose and led Jesus off to Pilate. And they began to accuse him. When Pilate learned that Jesus was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was also in Jerusalem at the time. Then Herod and his soldiers ridiculed and mocked him. Dressing him in an elegant robe, they sent him back to Pilate. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers, the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us, as you can see. He has done nothing to deserve death. Therefore, I will punish him and then release him. But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! With loud shouts, they insistently demanded that Jesus be crucified, and their shouts prevailed. As the soldiers led him away, they seized Simon from Serene, who was on his way in from the country, and put the cross on him, and made him carry it behind Jesus. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. Now there was a man named Joseph, a member of the council, a good and upright man, 
who had not consented to their decision and action. He came from the Judean town of Arimathea, and he himself was waiting for the kingdom of God. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. Then he took it down, wrapped it in linen cloth, and placed it in a tomb cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. It was preparation day, and the Sabbath was about to begin. Thank you. 
Then the women remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others.